Hello. Oh my gosh, I am alive and well. I hope everyone had a, a great holiday season and a happy new year. Let's start it off strong with a new deathmatch video. Am I right, you 86 people? Yeah. And also, thank you for the 86 subscribers. We're almost to 100, and that's actually really awesome. If I start uploading more, that's going to be even better. Anyways, let's cut the crap and get started. So... Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a on-enter UI. So what I mean by that is that you know how you have a text box and sometimes you can go ahead and press enter to like you know how Google works you can type something in you press enter or you can press the search button. Well with Roblox you can't actually do that right away. So this is how you're going to create a on-enter event. So let's get started. First off, let's go into Starter GUI, and we're going to go ahead and insert a Screen GUI, and I'm not going to name it anything right now because it's not going to be much, and then we're going to add a frame, and we'll go ahead and position that frame where we'd like. I don't really mind because it's just an example. And then we're going to go ahead and insert a local script, and because I like to keep my top bar all nice and clean, I'm going to go ahead and name this on enter there we go before I get started though I would like to mention that if you do not like scripting or just typing stuff out because you are lazy I know the feeling I have not uploaded for over six weeks but you can go over to my discord channel which is in the description and or discord server it's called a discord server you go to a discord channel whatever you go to my discord server and there's a channel where you can go ahead and get the links to these scripts so game colon git service parentheses quotes user input service there we go and then we'll go over and do a dot input oops forgot to turn off notifications it's been a while stop please there we go oh my gosh there we go dot input began colon connect function input object game processed event there we go so this is a first line we delete that parenthesis there as well and we'll just go ahead and press enter and as you see it auto creates an end with a parenthesis at the end in indicating that we just defined a function. Now, before we continue, I would like to say that people have been asking if I can go over line by line. So that's what I'm going to do, at least with the more difficult lines, not like if statements, because I feel like that's fairly, I feel like that's fairly self-explainable. So game is fairly explainable. It's just the game that you're in and you're telling it to get a service or do something, which is a colon. And getting a service is with a the service provider that Roblox gives you which is just several different classes that they've built in so that you can call on those classes when you need it and you don't exactly have to go through all the API stuff and code it. And user input service is just a service that you have. You can go ahead and clear out this if you would like. Delete that and you'll go ahead and find all the services you can call on. And it's fairly simple and you can go ahead and search these up or you can ask in my Discord what those are but I'll just go ahead and go back to what I had input began that's just hey an input started because that's a function of the user input service and a connected function you've gone over this before you should understand it input object and game processed event are just built-in classes to that function next we're gonna go ahead and type local X equals true defining the variable X Next, we're gonna type while x equals equals true do, and it's very self-explanatory. While the variable x is equal to true, you are going to continue until it's not x. And next, we're going to do if script dot parent dot parent dot parent dot name equals equals quote unquote player GUI then and script.parent.parent.parent is the parent of the screen GUI which starter GUI changes to player GUI which is why we're checking to see if it's the name 
which means that's just checking to see if it's visible to the player. And next we're gonna do if input object dot key code equals equals enum dot key code dot and as you can tell there's all the key codes here so you can choose hey I don't want to do enter which is actually return which is kind of messes with you but you can go ahead and choose that and we'll type then and we're going to just go ahead and destroy the uh, UI so script parent parent colon destroy and make sure we set x equal to false just so that it doesn't continue and give you errors that you don't exactly want the last thing we need to do is go down to the second end and press enter and wait there we go just so it doesn't infinite or it doesn't loop so much and kind of crash our entire game so once we're done with that we can go into our game and go ahead and press play and we'll let it load for a second, even though it already loaded it. I don't know why it's taking so long. There we go. And I just press enter, and there we go. As you can tell, the UI is gone. It did exactly what we wanted. So for a couple notes, if you just want to customize it, just edit this line here, this line right here, that line. You want to customize that line, script.parent.parent colon destroy. Mm -hmm. So if you wanted to like do a function, to find the function up here and then you go through it or like I said you can t change this to something like X and go ahead press play and as long as it loads again as you can tell when I press X it goes ahead and disappears but can't print press enter to delete it if you guys did enjoy this video please go ahead and leave a like and subscribe if you didn't like this video leave a dislike and explain why in the comments I really want to know how I can improve. And go ahead and press that notification bell. That would be awesome. And just a reminder, join my Discord server. It's in the link. We have a great community over there, and I'd love to see you over there. And yeah, I should be back tomorrow.